Hey everyone, Ronan here with a revised tutorial for you. Since we had some audio issues with the previous uh, startup video, I'm going to go through the startup procedures in the UH1 Huey for DCS, and hopefully uh, you guys learn a little something here. Um, hope this one's better, because uh, apparently the last one, the uh, game audio was a little too high and you couldn't hear me. So for starters, we've got this door open. There's two ways to close it. You can click on it, or you can press Control C, and that would be right Control C since DCS likes to differentiate. All right, first step for the startup procedure, this switch right up here on your top panel, switch it to AC phase, and turn your main generator on, closing the cover. Next, battery on with this switch, you're going to get the audible low RPM alarm. You can shut that off with this switch right here next to the fuel switch. Speaking of, let's turn the fuel switch on. And up here you have hydraulic control and force trim. You're going to turn both of those on. And this dial right here is the master knob. Turn it on to get rid of the IFF warning light. Now there's still a lot of um, warning lights still on here. You can do a test by clicking this and all the lights come on and then a right click will reset it and there we just have all of these. So how do we start it? First things first, we need to get our throttle set to the starting position. So page up and page down, move the throttle up and down or using your mouse wheel to rotate. As you'll see, my throttle moves up here. I also have the throttle bound to a control on my HOTAS that allows me to manipulate it up and down. Now you want it all the way down um, as far as it'll go before the detent to start it. And the detent is this button right here. And then to start, press and hold the home key. And you'll notice my gas producer is starting to move. The needle is going up in RPM. This is the turbine RPM and gas producer. So you want to hold the home key down to start the starting process until we get to 40%. Then at 40% you can let go of the starter. Don't hold it down any further otherwise it will uh, burn out your engine. So we have the rotor blades spinning. Next step back on your top console right behind all of those switches you were hitting earlier, you want to turn on inverter to main with a right click. Then at the very back behind your uh, circuit breakers, turn that switch on. That is your radar altimeter. Now, while the engines are running. You can start turning your throttle up until you get to maximum rotor RPM. And while we're here, let's set up our uh, radio compass. As you'll see, this is your backup compass. This is the uh, most accurate compass you'll have in the helicopter. These two don't match. So we want to turn this compass until we are at 210 degrees or until the circle and plus sign are half and half, about equal in there. And then turn on your radar altimeter by turning this knob on the left using your scroll wheel on your mouse. And there you go. Your engines are running and you're ready to start flying. And you have your correct compass heading and radar altimeter ready to go for your altitude. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.